And as we get ourselves situated here, high above Keep Tech, we are off to the first race for the Hopkinton Hillers versus Holliston. And even though this is a away meet for Hopkinton, we are recording. And we have the first event today, the 200 medley relay, lane two for Hopkinton. Blake Briner just finished, Sam Cody, Rachel Zale, and Cole Salyards, Grace Cavanaugh, in the center of the full pool, Alice, uh, Alex Matstakis, Andrew Way, Sam Richardson, and out in lane six, uh, Mary Lauren Burke, Allison Fu, Caitlin O'Connor, and Bridget Belger. We are in the second. The swimmers going in now, we're going into the uh, the 50 fly. Hopkinton out in lane four, that's Andrea Way. Andrea Way extending Hopkinton's lead. This is a co-ed meet format, so you have both men and women swimming together in the pool. Andrea Way is gonna hand off to Sam Richardson. Sam Richardson is gonna be swimming out in lane four. Bridget Belger up in lane six. And Cole Salyards here in lane two for Hopkinton. As Hopkinton is holding on to a body length and a half, two body length lead in the first relay, the 200 medley relay. Hopkinton will take first, Hollison's gonna take second, Hopkinton will take third. All right, as we catch our breath here for a minute as we were a little bit late setting up. I don't know if we can hear. Raj, introduce yourself. I don't, I don't know that we can hear. We've got two of us up here tonight and I'm not sure that we can catch. I'm gonna see if we can get you. Uh, not yet. So pardon us if it takes us a couple of minutes here. Let's try something else. Try that. No, can't hear anything. All right, so we may be trading a headset tonight. So we're gonna talk our way through some technical difficulties here. This has happened before. What's that? Yeah, we can do that too. That's not a bad idea. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna turn it over. Let's switch headsets. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Raj, I'm father of Hitesh Rajanathan. So the ne our next event is the 200 free, uh, the Hopkinton teams are on lane 2, 4 and 6, lane 2, A.B. Fisher, lane 4, Zach Holbro, and lane 6, Alicia Fisher. Once again, this is the 200 free. Number two of this race. 
Okay. Sorry, folks. I think I made a mess of it. So this is not the 203. This is the 200 medley relay. Uh, this is heat two. Upkinton team is on lane two, four, and six. Lane two, Mia Carboni, Sophie Cohen, Stephanie Capellos, and Holly Burns. Lane four, Cassie White, Brooklyn Reiner, Harley Richardson, and Patty Salyer. Lane six, Andrew Dialeva, Sierra Schlussel, Schlussel, sorry, my bad. Kelly Burke and Connor Mochi. Upkinton lane from lane four and six are closely following each other in the lead followed by lane uh, two in the third place so by the end of the breaststroke lane six has, take, has the lead right now Like I said, lane four and six are closely following each other. And we are on the fly and lane four has to leave. We are on the freestyle, lane 4 has the lead still, followed by lane 6 and lane 2. And we are closing to the end and lane 4 took the first position, lane 6. So lane 2, Mia, Sophie, Stephanie and Holly, they took the first position, lane 4. Sorry, my bad. Lane 6, Andrew, Sierra, Kelly and Connor took the first position. Lane 4, Cassie, Brooklyn, Harley and Peyton took the second position. And Lane 2, Mia, Sophie and Stephanie and Harley took the third position. Okay, the next event, the 200 free, lane 2, Hopkinton Abbey Fisher, lane 4, Zach Holbro, lane 6, Alyssa Fisher. Lane 3 is on the lead. Followed by the three Hop Hop Hopkinton swimmers closely. At the end of 100, lane 3 is still on the lead, followed by lane 6, lane 4 and lane 2 for the 2nd, 3rd and 4th position from Hopkinton.
So we are all to the final laps. Lane 3 still holding the lead by considerable margin. Lane 4 and 6 are fighting for the second position very closely. Followed by Lane 2 for the fourth position. So, Zach takes the second position from lane 4. Alisa takes the third position from lane 6. Abby takes the fourth position from lane 2. We are on to the next event, the 200 IM. We have Hopkinton on lane 2, 4 and 6. Lane 2 we have Sam Richardson. Lane 4 we have Andrea Way. Lane 6 we have Hitesh Rajnata. the end of the first 50, Sam is on the lead from lane 4, closely followed by lane 3 and lane 4 for second and third position. By the end of the 100, the freestyle, sorry, my backstroke. Andrea from lane 4 has extended her lead considerably and leading for the first place. Closely followed by lane 3 and 2. to the final lap. Andrea continues to have the lead. Now to her freestyle. Closely followed by lanes 3 and 4 for the second and third position respectively. Sorry, lanes 3 and 2 for the second and third positions respectively. Concludes the first place. Andrea Wave takes the first place. And Sam Richardson from lane 2 takes the third place. Hitesh Rajanagan takes the fourth place from lane 6.
The next event is the 50 free. On the 53, uh, we have lane 2, Paul Salyard, lane 4, Alex Metzakas, and lane 6, Bridget Belger. It's a very close, closely fought event. I believe lane 2 and 4 settled for the second and third place. Lane 3 took the first place, I believe. Heat 2 of the 53. Lane 2, we have Aditya Datta. Lane 4, we have Mary Lauren Burke. And lane 6, we have Peyton Salyards. Once again, a very closely fought one. Aditya from lane 2 taking the lead, followed closely by Mary from lane 4. And followed by Peyton from lane 6. So Hopkinton takes all the three pushes. Next event, once again hit 3 from the 53, we have Kate Lagues on lane 2, Kelly Cohen on lane 4 and Sophie Cohen on lane 6, representing Hopkinton teams. Again, the three Hopkinton students took in the three positions. Sophie from lane six takes the first position. 
Kate from lane 2 takes the second position and Kylie from lane 4 takes the third position. to heat four. We have four folks from Hopkinton representing this knee in this heat and one little four from Hopkinton. On lane lane one I have Harley Richardson. Lane four I have Julia Pilarela and lane six Kayla McCann and lane 2 I have Mallory Fisher. Do you find yourself feeling down in winter? Or if you experience depression through the year, does it get worse in the colder and darker months? I'm here to tell you about winter depression and what you can do that may be helpful. Seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, is a type of depression that tends to occur in the fall. You may lose your energy and motivation. You may feel sluggish, agitated, distracted, hopeless, and you may have problems with sleeping, your appetite, or suicidal thoughts. SAD can lead to social withdrawal, problems with school or work, and substance abuse. Here's the good news. You can talk with your primary care physician, your psychiatrist, or mental health professional. There are effective treatments such as counseling, light box therapy, or medication. Sometimes we feel bad in the fall and winter anyway, especially during the holidays. But if a mood slump continues for days or weeks, don't wait. Talk with your doctor or counselor for more information and support. And we're back. Thanks, Raj, for taking the first half of the meet. We are going to enter the diving as everybody quiets their phones. Diving for Hopkinton today is going to be Maddie Staus, Brianna Taco, Jack Brennan, and Juliana Lucas. But, of course, we've got the order wrong. They've mixed it up on me because that is not Maddie. First dive, back, flip with a half twist. Six and a half, six, five and a half. Six and a half, six, five and a half. Nice scores. I'll listen to see. I don't know. That might have been Juliana. Holliston diver. Holliston only has one diver this evening. Forward one and a half. Score six, seven and a half, six and a half. Good scores for the uh, Halston Diver. Brianna Taco on the board with a forward one and a half twist. Nicely executed. Six and a half, maybe sevens. Scores six, seven, six and a half. Nice scores, six and a half, seven, six. Maddie's first dive is five. Maddie Stouse up on the board. So Maddie's going to open with difficult dive. She's going to go with the back one and a half and a half twist. 
very nicely executed. Just gets good height off the back of the board. Maddie, one of the team captains. Jack Brennan up on the board now. Jack also swims. Back dive with a half twist. Nice height, nice entry, nice dive. A lot of sixes and sevens at the beginning of the diving here as they finish the first round. Juliana Lucas up on the board. Hawkington has been aided as they've been in the past several years by the diving. It's been a strong suit on their TVL. In the TVL league meets, co-ed meets. Six and a half, five and a half. Hopkinton comes in in TVL. They are undefeated. I believe Hollison also undefeated in the TVL. I believe the Hopkinton women are also undefeated as they went 2 and 0 oh in a dual meet last week. Nicely executed by Brianna Taka. Scores are calculated by the score as well as the degree of difficulty of the dive. Two point three degree of difficulty for a forward one and two twists. Nicely done. Nicely done. Jack Brennan up on the board now. Oh, very nicely executed. Very nice. Jim Brainerd isn't here with the divers tonight. On deck is Jim Staus, helping out a little bit. As Juliana steps up on the board, Juliana Lucas. Nicely done, forward one and a half, pike position. Four, four, five, five. I, think, I think she got robbed by the far right judge. Holliston's divers up. We'll check and see if we can get some scores after the diving. Forward two in the pike position. Same dive by Brianna. It's going to be a forward two. Five, five and a half. Let's see. Four, four and a half, five and a half, five and a half. A little stingy on the four and a half. Seeing to me to be a five, five and a half dive. Maddie Stouse for her third dive. Very nicely done as well. Four, seven and a half, seven and a half, six and a half. No 
Five scores, seven and a half, seven and a half, six and a half. Maddie picking up where she left off last year. Very, very strong diver. Jack Brennan back up on the board for his third dive. Very nice. Nice height. Good scores for Jack. Start the fourth round of dives. It's going to be Juliana Lucas. So we talked a little bit about it in our first broadcast. We talked about Jeff Libby. This is his first year as head coach after being moved up, promoted, accepting the head coaching job after being assistant coach last year. Very nicely done with Juliana. Six and a half or seven. Score, seven, and a half, seven, seven. There you go. Nice dive. One of the things that plays to Hopkinton's strength is definitely his depth. As you see, the swimmers lined up. I think they're carrying roughly 45 swimmers this year and actually had cuts for tryouts. So a large team for Hopkinton. One of the things that helps them in their TVL, TVL meet, TVL championship. Austin's diver, two and a half forward. A lot of spin to control there. Four, four, four and a half, four and a half. A little bit forward on the entry into the water. Brianna Taco jumps up on the board for her fifth, fourth dive. Dive. Six, six and a half, maybe. Yeah, pretty much right on the money. I should be a judge. Two point four degree of difficulty, a tough dive. Maddie was going to to an inward one and a half. Very nicely done. Six and a half, seven. Four, six, Oof. seven, five. Oof. I don't know about the five. Jack, dive Jack Brennan for his fourth dive. Reverse tuck position. Jack's going to come off the board and do a reverse flip. Very nicely done. Six, six and a half, maybe. Four, five and a half, six, six. There you go. Nice dive by Jack. Good height for her fifth dive. Juliana's up on the board. Back single flip layout for Juliana. Oh, very nicely done. Four, six, half, seven, six, half. Really nicely done. Holliston's diver up for her fifth dive. Divers will complete six dives. Inward one and a half. Scores five, five and a half, five and a half. Five, five and a half, five and a half. Stepping up on the board now, Brianna Taco. Inward dive in the pike position. Very nicely done as well. Six and a half, sevens maybe. I'm getting a little carried away, a little generous. 
Maddie Stahl steps up for her fifth dive. Back one and a half for Maddie. Nicely executed as well. Divers seem to be on tonight. They all look really good. Great. A lot of sixes and sevens tonight in the divers. Nicely done. Jack Brennan up for his fifth dive. Inward one and a half. Good height. Nice, six and a half, six and a half, six. All the Hopkinton divers are diving very well. Last dive of the night for Juliana. Good announcer on the dives over there. Good clarity, we know what they're diving, what the degree of difficulty is, what the dives are. Nice. Or dive. Four, six, seven, seven and a half. Nice. Good way to end the diving for Juliana tonight. Very nicely done. Final dive for Hollison's diver. So this is a point in the meet where Hopkinton can amass some points as they've got four divers. They can score three. Holliston only has one diver. It's a good opportunity to pick up some additional points. They've been doing well in the pool as well. A little short on the entry, but nicely done. Five, five and a half. Four, three and a half, five, five. Uh, she kind of got punished by the one judge there for being a little short on the entry. A wee bit harsh. Brianna's last dive and with one and a half. Oh, nicely done. Five and a half, six. Four, four and a half, five and a half, four and a half. Not sure where the four and a halfs are coming from. I didn't see a four and a half there, but a nice, nice dive. Maddie's last dive. Going to end with a little bit easier dive for her. 1.6 degree of difficulty. Uh, very nicely done. That should be a seven and a half. Yep, we see an eight. There you go. I was going to venture into the eight category, but wasn't sure if we would see it. It's nicely done. Last dive for Jack Brennan. Two. Nice solid last dive. Sixes across the board. Nicely done for Jack. That's going to conclude our diving. We're going to take a quick break here. We'll see if we can get a score update. And we will continue with the 100 fly as they get the pool ready. Just a moment. Every winter in New England, we have an increase in cases of carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a gas that's indetectable to our senses and can make you very sick or even kill you in a short period of time. Fortunately, carbon monoxide poisoning is entirely preventable. Ensure that you have your heating system and other home equipment maintained and inspected annually. Never operate gas-powered equipment indoors and never barbecue indoors. Make sure to have working carbon monoxide alarms on every floor of your house and within 15 feet of every bedroom door. They should be tested monthly. When snow falls, take care to make sure that chimneys heating and dryer outlets are clear of snow so that exhaust can exit. Similarly, shovel out your car's exhaust and never allow children or other people to sit in an idle car while you're shoveling it out. If your carbon monoxide alarm ever goes off, don't ignore it. Exit your house and call the fire department. By following these steps, you can protect your family this winter. And we're back. Results of the diving. Hopkinton took first, second, 
and fourth. Uh, Jack uh, took first. And I believe, I'm not sure if uh, Maddie was scoring or not, uh, but it's either Maddie or Brianna. And then uh, Juliana took fourth. So <coughs> Hopkinton picks up some points there. Howlston's diver picked up third. So it's a good pickup of points uh, for Hopkinton. As three of their divers could score. We're going to pick up the meet now with 100 fly. Uh, Ritesh. So I'm going to kill the name again. I know. I know. Rajan Onigan. There we go. Andrea Way and Tyler Halbro. So the one to watch in the middle of the pool, Andrea Way. I'm going to run a clock on her. She set a pool record over at uh, Wayland the other day. Broke, a, broke the pool record uh, set by, I believe it was Molly Pierce. Uh, that was a 57.9, 57.96, I believe it was. Uh, so she goes sub 58 for her 100 fly. They don't have the Hopkinton records, but I will check those because there's a record that's been standing by Megan Farrell for quite some time that Andrea Way could challenge in the 100 fly. So we're going to run an unofficial time on this particular race just to take a look at it. Uh, Ritesh in lane two, Andrea in lane four, Tyler in lane six as we ready ourselves for the second half of the meet. I will announce 100 fly, 100 free, and then turn it back over to Raj to take over the 500. The two free relay, the 100 back, and the 100 breast. We would have two of us up here announcing, but we have one headset that works and one headset that doesn't, so... We were stuck with one person completely for a period of time, and then we'll switch it off. A couple of minutes of downtime here. Like to announce that Hopkinton schools have been canceled for tomorrow. Snow pending this Wednesday night. Snow coming in Thursday. School has already been canceled. Not sure whether the kids know that yet or not, but cancellation has already gone through so there'll be no school tomorrow so everybody feel free to sleep in which is all good we may get a score announcement it looks like they're at the scores table while well, we got a couple of minutes and I'm just filling some dead air here we may get a scores announcement see if we have a mid score after the diving meet's been very close a lot of good swims by uh, both teams uh, both very competitive as well. I said earlier, I believe both teams are undefeated in the TVL. Holliston Medway, I think, has swam Norton and has defeated Norton. Silence and delay is getting to the Hopkinton swimmers as they begin to get a little antsy at the far end of the pool. Start to get a cheer going for Andrea. Ritesh and Tyler. I see pencils and erasers over at the scorer's table, so we might have a little bit of a delay here. We're trying to figure out what's going on. For the 100 fly sectionals for the ladies, to qualify for the sectionals, you're looking at a 106.47. And for the states, a 104.40. For the boys, a 58.96. And for the states, a 58.39. Andrea Way has already qualified for the states. And with that 57.8, that's going to put her in a really good position as far as her seed in the uh, in the state meet 5800 5700 fly is envious of most gentlemen that swim the race at this age as well quick swimmer so Hopkinton looking to pick up some additional points here on this particular race 
But Tesh has been swimming the 100 fly for a while as well as Tyler. I believe Ritesh is also a 2 IM tonight, I think he swam. Ritesh's father, Raj, is in the booth with us tonight for the first time. And we are ready to get underway. 100 fly. We notice that swimmers are not diving off the blocks. We still have a diving block that is broken. So in order to get six lanes, they are diving off the sides. Andrew Way out to an early lead. Ritesh and Tyler Holbro both battling for second and third. Good looking swims as we come into the 50. Andrew Way out by about a body length and a half. Tyler's going to touch in second with Ritesh hitting third, challenged by the Holliston swimmer. This would be a good opportunity for Hopkinton to sweep and add some points. Andrew Way is going to win this going away. This is going to be for second and third, and both Tyler and Ritesh swimming extremely well in lanes two and six as Andrew Way in the center of the pool. Lane four coming in will run a quick unofficial stopwatch on that. Ritesh pushing hard. Andrew Way comes in around the 59. Ritesh is going to hold for second. It's a battle for third. Ritesh takes second and third. It's a sweep by Hopkinton. Andrea, Ritesh, Tyler Hall, bro. One, two, three. That is a huge, huge swim by the three Hopkinton swimmers. A good team put out there, a good threesome put out there by Coach Jeff Libby. Nicely done. Holliston takes third or fourth and fifth. Very difficult to recover from a sweep. That was very good. Hawkinton needed that. Put a little bit of distance, hopefully, between themselves. And Holliston after they took one, the two, and four in the diving. So two good back-to-back -back scoring opportunities as we go to the 100 free. Lineup is Grace Cavanaugh in lane two. We've got Sam Richardson in lane four and Bridget Belger out in lane six. Hopkinton puts three swimmers out there. It's Grace Cavanaugh in lane two. Sam Richardson, lane four. Bridget Belger up in lane six. As we turn at the 25, they are straight across the pool. Tight race. Slight lead by Holliston. Swimmers in lane three and five. They take the turn four across. Up in lane six, Bridget Belger close behind the leaders. Breaking away a little bit. Grace Cavanaugh on lane two as we're going to take the turn towards the final lap of the race. We've got Grace Cavanaugh, Sam Richardson, Bridget Belger. Grace Cavanaugh battling Holliston. Sam Richardson coming on. Sam Richardson, center of the pool. Pulling ahead, it's going to be Sam Richardson. Close for third. And Bridget Belger up there in lane six, taking fifth. That was pretty close to call, but definitely a win in the center of the pool by Sam Richardson. Grace Cavanaugh and then Bridget Belger took fifth up in lane six. I'm going to turn this over to Raj. Have him take over for the 500 in the balance of the meet. Going to get ready for the 500. Zach Halbro. Alyssa Fisher, Colin Tyne as the swimmers swim down, turning it back over to Raj. Thank you, Kevin.
We are on the 500 free. Lane 2 we have Zach Holbrook. Lane 4, Alisa Fisher. And lane 6, Colin Time. As you all know, 500 is not a some easy event. You need a lot of endurance, a lot of patience, good technique to continue to stay in the lead till you do all the 20 laps. The end of the first lap, we have lane 4, Alyssa Fisher in the lead. She's being followed closely by Colin Tyne on lane 6. And right now we have a tie between lane 3 and 2. Okay, looks like we, uh, I missed about it. So it was not the 500 free, it was the second heat of the 100 free. So that was lane 2, Kaylee Keohan, lane 4, Casey White, and lane 6, Kate Lagas. And Casey White took the lead uh, for first place on uh, from lane 4, followed by Kate Lagas on lane 6. Kelly Kim took the 4th place. I think now we are on to the 500 free. free on lane 2 we have Zach Holbro lane 4 we have Alisa Fischer lane 6 all in time like I said before you need a lot of endurance patience good technique to stay in the lead and finish in the lead Four swimmers at the end of the first lap are almost in, tied for the same position. It is lane two, three, four, and six. the end of lap 2 we have Alisa Fisher from lane 4 on the lead lane 2 and 3 are hardly fighting very hard to keep their position for the second lane 6 Colin has fallen back it's too early to say anything The end of lap three. The position continues to be the same. At the end of lap 4, Alyssa continues to be in the lead from lane 4. In lane 2 and 3 are closely tied. Although I should say, Zach from lane 2 has a slight edge over 
the stolen from lane 3 for the second position. Towards, we are in the, towards the end of lap 6 and you can see Alisa continuing to maintain her lead but Zach has fallen back a little and given the lead to the Holliston student on lane 3 although I should say the person on lane 3 is trying to catch up closely with Alisa like I said before, it's very hard to say at the beginning of the race who will win the race. The distance between Alisa and the swimmer on lane 3 is closing by the end of lane, lap 7 or lap 8. When I say lap 8, I mean, this is the 400, 400 meters that is being passed. Now Alisa is speeding up. You can see she is stretching her lead a little. So she is very determined. So does Zach. Zach is closing in as well. Alisa is slowly falling behind. The Holliston swimmer on lap 3 is catching up with Alisa. We are on to the final lap. Will Alisa maintain her position? The swimmer on lane 3 is very determined. He is catching very closely and so does Alisa as well. They are very neck to neck right now. We are in the final 25. Looks like Alisa is speeding up, extending her difference, and she might pull it off. And so she does. Alisa wins, takes the first place. The swimmer on lane 3 takes the second place, and Zach takes the third place. Good job, folks. Fourth place taken by. Colin from lane 6. That was a treat to watch. And the race just finished.
we're getting ready for the next race which is the 200 free relay again we have lane 2 4 and 6 the hopkinton teams in lane 2 we have blake briner abby fisher ian holmes and sam richardson lane 4 we have Cole Salyard, Aditya Datta, Alex Machukas and Andrea Way. Lane 6 we have Tyler Holbro, Andrew D. Aliva, Anthony Warrell and Rachel Zay. The end of the hour. Fly. We have the lead from lane 3. I believe it's a Holliston swimmer. And we have for the second position with the lead on lane 2, closely followed by lane 4 for the third place. And the lead continues the same way. Okay, we are on to the final lap. Lane 3 continues to lead, closely followed by lane 2 and 4, fighting for the second spot and the third spot. And the team from lane 4 fought very hard, and but still they were able to only get the second place. Hopkinton takes second and third place. The team from lane four, Cole, Aditya, Alex and Andrea takes the second place. The team from lane two, Blake, Abby, Ian and Sam takes the third place. Team from lane three from Holliston takes the first place. Moving on to Heat 2 from the same event, 200 free relay. Once again, we have three Hopkinton uh, teams on the race. On lane 2, we have Brooklyn Brenner, Maggie Miller, Kelly Burke, and Stephanie Capelos. Lane 4, we have Elizabeth Kane, Sophie Cowan, Kate Lagaz, and Casey White. In lane 6, we have Kylie Kyohan, Sierra Schlazel, Holly Burns, and Julia Pillarella. Starters, it looks like lane 4 is on the lead, that is Elizabeth, Sophie, Kate and Cassie, very closely followed by lane 6, that's Kylie, Sierra, Holly and Julia. But in this event we can't underestimate the upcoming swimmers so we have to wait and watch
And the lead continues for the second lap. Lane 4 and place first place and lane 6 and lane 1 very closely tied I would say for the second spot. They end up third lap. We still have the lead from lane four. And on the second spot, we have the team from lane six. On the third spot, it more likely looks like it will be for the team from lane one. Lane 4 took the first place. Elizabeth, Sophie, Kate and Casey has taken the first part. Followed by Lane 6. Kylie, Sierra, Holly and Julie are taking the second place. I am not very sure if the third place is taken by Lane 1 or Lane 2 looks like it is lane one so probably the team from lane two from Hopkinton might settle for the fourth place that concludes this heat We have three more events left. So our next event is the 100 back. Once again, we have three swimmers from Hopkinton. Lane two, we have Blake Brenner. Lane four, we have Grace Cavanaugh. And lane six, we have Cole Salyards. Swimmers on the water now. Off they go. Lane two, three, and four are very closely following each other. At the end of first lap, it looks like lane 4 is on the lead, just be followed by lane 3 and lane 2. It's a neck to neck between lane 3 and 4. Not sure who touched first. Let's to wait and see. It's a close call. Not sure who touched first still. Maybe it's a tie. Third place, I believe, is lane two from Hopkinton, which would be Blake Briner. 
you have to see whether Grace took the first part or the second. <coughs> Our next event is 100 breast. Once again we have three swimmers from Hopkinton. Sam Court on lane 2, Alex Matsukas on lane 4, Alison Fu on lane 6. It's a tough fight between lanes 3 and 4 and very closely followed by lane 2 as well. I could see that Alex is taking the lead very closely. We are at the final lap, the final 25. Alex is having a slight advantage over the lane, swimmer on lane 3. We have to see whether he maintains it and finishes it off. Oh! I could see lanes 3, 4 and 2, 3 and 4 were all, almost close, but I probably lane 3 and 4 again once again. It's a tough call to say who touched it first. Let's wait and see. Hapkitan might take the first or second place, but the third place has been taken by Sam Court from lane 2. <coughs> that leaves us with only one event for the day, which is a 400 free relay. So the 400 free relay we once again have three teams from Hopkinton, lane 2, lane 4 and lane 6. In lane 2 we have Elizabeth Kane, Caitlin O'Connor, Maggie Miller, Kayla McCann. Lane 4 we have Bridget Berger, Zach Holbro, Grace Cavanaugh and Abby Fisher. Lane 6 we have Anthony Worrell, Ian Holmes, Colin Tyne and Rachel Zane. The end of the first lap, the first 50, we see lane 3 is on the lead, closely followed, I shouldn't say closely followed, but followed by two swimmers from lane 4 and 6, for the second and third position probably. the end of the first 100 the lead that lane 3 has taken should give them a substantial advantage over the other swimmers mm -hmm. 
but this is a team event. We have to wait and watch how the other swimmers are from other lanes. Lane 2 is catching up in spite of losing the substantial lead over lane 3 in the first round. So we are on to the final lap, final 100 I should say, lane 3 continues to keep the lead, followed by lane 4 which is Bridget, Jack, Grace and Abby, I believe Abby is swimming right now, and for the third place probably I think it's lane 6. Second place we have lane 4, Bridget, Zach, Grace and Abby, good job guys, followed by lane 3rd position from lane 6, that would be Ansley, Ian, Colin and Rachel. And our team from lane 2 takes the 4th place, that would be Elizabeth. Caitlin, Maggie and Kayla. Way to go Hillers. <laughs> Kevin, you want to say something final? Thanks Raj. We turn over towards the end of the meet. We're going to wait for the scores. We may take a quick break depending on how long the scores are going to take. We wrap up. Raj, phenomenal job. First time on the mic. As we conclude the Holliston Medway Hopkinton meet. Holliston Medway was the home team this evening, but because we're at Keith Tech, we are going to announce. Teams line up for the customary handshake. That, as they say, that slappy hand, sweaty thing. Sweaty hand, slappy thing. Something like that. We'll see how quickly we can get the scores here. Then we've got to figure out what we're going to have for the final cheers. Holliston, Medway, and Hopkinton, what they're going to bring to the table for the final cheers for tonight. Our first meet, first home meet last week, we had uh, some new cheers, something we hadn't heard before. So, always looking for the teams to break something out different at the end of the year. 
good crowd here tonight as everybody was anticipating a snow day tomorrow and they've got one so we're expecting some snow a couple of teams pulling in for practice as soon as this meet comes to a conclusion and we will await the score if i were to venture a guess it looks like a hopkinton win we'll wait for confirmation maybe a 10 or 12 point lead what I think the turning point of the meet was this evening was a one, two, and th uh, four in the uh, diving and uh, followed by a sweep of the 100 fly. I think a turning point in the meet. Otherwise, the meet was swum very closely. Holliston's got a strong team. Holliston Medway, a strong team. Hopkinton continuing under new head coach Jeff Libby to continue its winning ways. Here we go, we're gonna get a score here for just a moment. Our head referee holds everybody up. We'll get the score to you in a minute. <laughs> 95, 82, 13 point lead, 13 point win. As Hopkinton remains undefeated in the TVL, we will take a quick break. We will cut off and then we'll go back and come for the uh, final cheers as they uh, as they do their. Uh oh, hang on for just a sec. I want to grab to the left here by the by the diving board. Looks like captains are being presented or teams being presented with uh, roses. My guess would be this is uh, continuing an honoring of uh, Brad Canty, passed over the summer, would have been a senior swimmer. Team has uh, dedicated their season to Brad. And it appears to be some recognition by the Holliston Medway team. That's purely a, uh, some conjecture, but that would be what I would suspect, an extremely touching moment. Class team, class group of individuals. Nice gesture by the Hop, by the Holliston Medway team. I am guessing, like I said, a small token to honor Brad Canty to, I'm assuming, the senior, senior captains of the team, fellow classmates. It's kind of going to make everything else irrelevant relative to the swim meet. Scores don't really matter. And honestly, neither do the final cheers. Why don't we end with that? A really touching moment here. Keep Keith Tech 